Here's how you can add completely copyright free stock audio to your video with Clipchamp. Start by heading over to clipchamp.com and then log in or create your free account. I've put the link in the description below. Once logged in, you'll be taken to the homepage where you'll click on the create a new video button. Then you'll be taken straight into the editor. The first thing you'll need to do is import the video you want to add the music onto. By navigating over to the import media button, selecting the asset and hitting open. It will load into your media library over here. Now add the video into the timeline by dragging and dropping it in just like this. Next, add royalty free stock music and effects to your video by navigating over to the toolbar and clicking into the content library tab. Now you'll click the drop down arrow in the audio tab and here you can choose between either music or sound effects. For this tutorial, we'll jump into the music tab. Once inside, you can either search for something specific here in the search bar by typing in your keyword. For example, I'll type chill. The options will then all appear here. But to make things easier, you can search through all of our custom content collections, which are categorized into specific genres. For example, happy and upbeat, lo-fi or hip hop. Once you're inside the collection, you can preview each track by hitting the play button. And you can also view the track in full screen by clicking on it. Once you're in full screen, you'll be able to see the audio's duration and whether it's a free asset or whether it's paid. Now you can either add the track into your media library by clicking on the add to my media button or add it straight into your timeline by clicking on the add to timeline button. If you selected the add to media button, the track will load over here into your media library. And to add it into your timeline, simply drag and drop it in, placing it below your video. Now, if you decide you're not happy with the track chosen, jump back into the content library. And then once you find the track you want to use, just drag and drop it into the timeline on top of the previous track and drop it in to replace it. Now you can also edit the audio track if you'd like by trimming it, adjusting the volume, fading it in or out, or adjusting the speed. Firstly, if the audio track is longer than your video, as it is in this case, Trim it by clicking on the track in your timeline. It will highlight in green so that you know it's selected. Then just drag the green handle left until it meets the end of your video. Now I'll fit the screen back into place and you can see the track is now the same length as my video. Next, to adjust the volume of the track, navigate over to the property panel and click into the audio tab. Then just move the volume slider left or right to adjust the volume of the track to whatever you'd like. This works fantastically when you want a track playing in the background of a voiceover, but you don't want the audio to be too loud. Now to add fades to the audio, click into the fade tab and drag the fade in and fade out sliders to whatever you'd like it to be. And lastly, to edit the speed of your audio track, click into the speed tab and drag the speed slider left to slow it down or right to speed it up. You can choose from 0.1x all the way to 16x speed options or input a specific value in this box here. Lastly, once you're completely happy with your video, export it by heading over to the export button and selecting your video quality. Then once the export is complete, hit save to your computer and it will download to your device all ready for you to share. And that's how you can add copyright free stock audio to your video. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for our weekly how-to videos.